Hey, what's up guys? So, I want to talk to you guys about how to really get into rhythm and flow. I gave you a jump start guide on to watch the sunrise and the sunset, which will kind of get you into rhythm and flow because you see the sun rise and you see the sunset. So it gives you a start and finish to your day. And I made a whole video about that. It's called my two minute sleep cure. I think that's what it's called. But today I want to go more in depth in the middle there between sunrise and sunset. What do we do? And if you start to get in touch with this, it's magical. It's beautiful. It's so great. So after I've watched sunrise, and you might want to stop drinking caffeine while you test this out, but it's a way to really get in tune with your body and the sun because the sun pretty much dictates all of our activities because if when it's up we can go out and do more things and when it's down and the moon is out and it's nighttime we're not as apt to be as active unless we're at clubs and XYZ and essentially going against nature but the way nature works and as long as we go against nature we're gonna be swimming upstream and we're gonna have higher stress levels higher emotional stress levels you know all kinds of issues for as long as we swim upstream so what I'm showing you how to do and what has worked for me is to get into flow okay so instead of swimming upstream you're just going with the flow going with the flow and your body will naturally want to work naturally want to create, naturally want to share, naturally want to overfill and help others. So I've watched sunrise and you can see this wave here that we're gonna ride the wave. You can see the wave of energy of your day. So it starts at sunrise and slowly and if you're not using any stimulants you're going to be able to experience it this very subtly in your body as your energy grows and then you just want to explode with creativity so it's really a really cool thing so the morning and the afternoon is yang and what yang means simply is where you're creating and doing okay and then yin is the evening and that's when you're reaping and you're sleeping and you're recovering and resting and enjoying time with family and friends or your boyfriend and girlfriend anything like that where you're just chilling out and maybe eating dinner stuff like that it's more of a relaxed situation yang is more what are we gonna do it's hot it's fire yin is water it's cooling it's relaxation baby so as your energy rises six seven eight nine ten Around noon, your energy comes to a peak. So from 12 to like, for me, it's like 12 to 4, 12 to 5, right in there. I'm really peaking. But at 5, it starts to go down. But at like 12 to 4, I'm like, whoo! But it's the only reason why I allow myself to peak. The only reason why I can experience that peak energy is because I've allowed myself to ease into my day instead of rushing myself into this high energy level which is what happens when we drink coffee and when we drink a lot of Red Bull or something like that anything with a lot of stimulation in it a lot of caffeine lots of sugar is going to spike our wave prematurely too quickly and not allow our body to stay in tune with the universe Stay in tune with the sun, stay in tune with everything and allow our body to know, oh, okay, this is when I really have energy to share with others. If you are got fake energy, you're going to be off kilter. You know what I mean? If you have a ton of energy here and your wave's way up here when it should be down there, you're not going to be in flow. You're going to be tense. Your muscles are going to be tight. Your breathing is going to be shallow. And you're not going to be able to think straight. Okay, and you're gonna crash. No one wants to crash. So instead of crashing and burning, allow yourself to slowly experience this and then really, once you have that energy, use it productively. Productively use that energy. 
allow yourself to nice and slow and you'll feel that energy go nice and slow. So after you've watched sunrise, no caffeine, nothing like that. Midday, explode with your creativity and share your gift with the world. After, when you're paying attention to your energy, yours might be a little different than mine, but basically we're all in a very, the same rhythm, okay? In the afternoon, the evening, the late afternoon and evening, okay, when the sun starts to set and the sun's going down, hasn't actually set yet, it's called, it's like a little yin, okay? So it's a little bit yin, just like the morning time was a little bit yang, and mid midday was very yang. So, little yin in the evening where you're relaxing with your friends and family and eating dinner like I said before maybe reading a book or checking some stuff out on YouTube um, so as this as your wave starts to come down honor it respect it and don't fight against the wave don't fight against nature because as long as we fight against it like I said if you try to spike your wave up here again you're going to be off kilter, you're going to be stressed out, and if you have any interest in sleeping well at night and having energy for the next day, I would not spike my energy or try to be yang when I should be yin or try to create when my body tells me no. So these over creative people or over, not over creative, but over producing people is why the world is full of stressed, sick, depressed people. Because all we're trying to do is create, 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 study, 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 pass your test, 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 finals, 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 sales, sales, sales. And what's left? It's all fire. We're burnt out. That's how you get burnt out. If you respect the wave just on one day, just on, just on a daily basis, you'll have more energy for the next day. This wave can continue. If the wave is out of friggin' alignment, out of alignment, it's not going to continue smoothly. And it's almost when you respect the wave and you flow with the wave and you allow your energy to come up, peak, and then as you feel your body wanting to be tired and want, wanting to just chill out and lay on the couch, let your body do that. Don't fight against it. Don't be so connected with how it feels to be full of energy. When you're tired, you're tired. Your, body's, your body knows what it's doing. When you're tired, don't drink caffeine. Take a nap. So, yin watch the sunset and again like I said in my other video cellular level your body goes okay time to go to bed now you got a couple hours here but here's the really cool part when you decide to go to sleep and this is what I think is beautiful but the Sun in you have now developed a relationship throughout the day if that makes sense you watched it rise as you rose, at its peak, you were at your peak, as it set and started to come down, you started to come down and relax just as the sun was relaxing after a full day's work. Okay? And then, as it's dark and you're going to go to sleep, now you would expect, oh, we, I have no more relationship with the sun. But you do. Because this little yin and yang symbol right here, is symbolizing me and the sun together. So now me and the sun are always together through the morning, midday, sunset, and even when I'm sleeping, the sun is sleeping with me. We're both together. We're one thing. We are a team. And that puts you in alignment with nature, in alignment with the sun, and in alignment with your life. It's all a circle. Isn't that beautiful? That's such a beautiful thing to me. You want to get to sleep around 10 p.m. and wake up around 6 or wake up around sunrise. So once you're connected here, you're connected to the sun. One more thing, what you guys can do before you go to bed, a little meditation type deal. Take this and create it with your hands. Me, the sun, and unison together. 
you would sit on the edge of your bed, inhale, exhale, inhale, you would put your hands around your waist. Now what this is doing, and you're imagining that you and the sun are, are together and both sleeping, put you right back into tune because we still tend to get pulled out of our rhythm, to get pulled out of our flow. But right before bed, do that meditation for five minutes, maybe 10 minutes if you want, but you'll start to feel the energy. <sighs> flowing in your body. And when you start to feel an energy flow, you're literally in flow. And that promotes like really deep restful sleep so before this video gets too long thank you guys for watching hit subscribe like the video shoot me a comment tell me what you think thank you so much for allowing me to share my gifts with you okay i'll talk to you next time bye i'm in a click but i want out it's not the same